One of the oldest and most beloved mythical creatures is the majestic half-horse, half-man, the centaur. But where did the strange centaur myth actually come from? And is there a chance it was based on real life? Let's find out on today's episode of Colossal Question. A centaur is an ancient mythical creature with the upper body of a human and the lower body of a horse that was first imagined by the people of ancient Greece. In most classic Greek legends, centaurs were wild, unstable creatures who didn't always like to follow the rules. Artists at the time would often include centaurs in their sculptures and pottery, usually showing them in battle with gods or partying hard. The iconic centaur has remained a common character in fantasy stories ever since, even to this day. So that's what a centaur is, but how did the myth actually start? What is the true origin of the centaur? Most experts today believe the centaur stories can actually be traced back to a real region near ancient Greece called Thessaly. The Greeks didn't know very much about the people of Thessaly, except that they were nomadic, horse-riding people. Nomads were any people who didn't settle down and build a settlement in one spot like the Greeks did. Instead, nomads chose to roam from place to place, setting up camp, then eventually moving on to the next place. The people of Thessaly relied on horses to hunt and travel. Over the years, these nomadic groups became some of the best horse riders in the known world. The theory is that Greeks mistook these nomadic people for mythical creatures since they appeared to move as one with the horse as if they were completely connected. Over time, the story took on a life of its own and the myth of the centaur was cemented. Nowadays, centaurs in fantasy stories are often wise, stoic, and well-mannered, unlike their ancient counterparts, yet they remain just as popular a couple thousand years later.